<sighs> right, we've cut ourselves some living wood and some living rock. Just what we needed at the end of last time. Now, let me get rid of these. What's getting attacked by? Some various bits and things. So let us see. I need to start filling and making mana. Let me pick this up. I'm going to put this... Um, yeah, I'll put, I'll put it here. Uh, we can have a dilute one as well if we want to. But we need to start filling this with mana. So we need to make a mana spreader. Mana spread. Here we go. A mana spreader. Um, so we need just a gold ingot, really. And then we have everything else. So let's grab ourselves a gold ingot. Um, we've got our petals. So petals and then the living wood. There we go, we've got ourselves a mana spreader. Now if I place this down here, um, I think if I grab my wand, as I can see, it's gonna shoot the, the mana it collects into here. Um, now to do this, we need, I think, have I got, where am I? Where's my pouch? Um, I need some particular flowers. Um, I think, what are the, what, let's have a look. Let's use the Lexa Britannia. So, we've got the thing. Okay. And um, what's it wants us here? Generating flora. Here we go. An introduction to generate. Mana can be generated. Top priorities of any bio, uh, botanist. Luckily, there are a, an array of generating flowers that will do the job. These flowers and the name generate mana and passively. Okay. Okay, so that's Tona. So we've got the Endo Flare. The Endo Flare is a rudimentary generating flower. It will absorb any combustible item or block um, dropping nearby vicinity. Okay, and burning through them generate mana while the fuel lasts. Okay. Uh, the time it takes to burn through an item is roughly half the time a furnace would. Okay, as the Endo Flare is offered... Um, generating flora. Best not to leave it to manual usage forever. The flower requires dropping items. Uh, and open create your fine natural selection. Okay. When arson becomes useful. So it wants us to chuck brown, two brown petals, a red petal, and a grey petal to make this one so let's fill this up let's fill this up with water so it wants a brown petal so let me grab one of you so we need those two brown petals so one two two brown petals a red petal and a gray petal so let's have a see. Grey petal and what was the other one? A red petal. So I'm gonna grab one of you. We'll turn you into there. So we need one of you. We need one of you. Okay, so you and you. Wait, was that not right? That's just a grey petal, is it not? Let's see. A, it wants a light grey petal. That's fine. Um, let me chuck the red one back in. We need the red one. So we need a light grey. Um, sorry, there we go. Light grey. So we'll leave that there. And what's the seeds, which I didn't grab. So this should make us an endo flare. So electric magic. So if I chuck this down Hold on, let's chuck it I'm going to chuck it here So this endo flare, if I chuck anything combustible down Let's see, I need to activate you, activate you There we go So that's showing, yep, it's accepting and then I need to There we go Oh Hold on, binding mode. 
find that to you. There we go. Okay, so we've got that binded now to here. So if I just read over that again, um, anything combustible. So maybe um, coal. Wait, hold on. But I mean, even better. This. This is combustible. There we go. So it's eating it. So it's going to sm- Oh, I need to use something that's got a really quick cooldown, really, don't I? Because if I use something like that, it's got a really high smelting time. So let me pick you up. Um, let me... Okay. Oh, so it is. It's doing it anyway. Status. There we go. Let's have a seat. So what else have we got that we can chuck in here? Uh, wood. Probably. Um, does wood accept? It does accept wood. Okay, so anything combustible. So we'll get we'll get some wood. And we'll have it do that. So that's doing that. That's filling up. is filling up with mana. Slowly but surely it's filling up with mana. Now obviously we need to start filling this up. It's filling, it's not I was hoping it would actually tell it's filling up this mana very, very slowly, I can see. I didn't think it was going to be too much of an issue. Wow. It is. It's filling up this mana pool very, very slowly. Do I have to wait for more mana? Let me see. Iron. I think I need mana steel. Yeah, can't do it just yet. Okay. I guess if I got more flowers... Maybe that would work? Oh, hello. There's a bit of a... a water problem down there. Not sure how that happened. But let's fill that in really quickly. So we'll fill that up. So we needed two brown. Turn those into that. Okay. Two brown, light grey, and that one, along with a seed. There we go. So we've got another one. So if we have a group of these, um, This, I want to go to there. So these now are going to keep firing our mana into there. That's filling up. This is now eating this wood. Yes, so we've got our mana working. It's working. It's doing its thing. These are eating the wood that I've chucked down and that's sending the mana from that flower into there. And then this is now generating the mana. And as you can see, slowly but surely, we're getting the blue particle effects that we were hoping for. So I'm just going to give this some time and wait for this to work. Okay, some time has passed. As you can see, we've now got the mana particles. And this is filling up fairly quickly. As you can see, it's updating. Yeah, it's filling up fairly quickly. Obviously, they've got no mana because it's firing straight into the mana spreader, which is then firing straight into here. So now we should be able to make mana steel. We can. Um, I'm going to do a block of it, actually. Not sure how much. Um, let's have a see. 
let us have a C. Um, what's it called? A iron block is what we need. So let's see. Let's do one iron block. Now let's update. How much did that? Okay, it didn't use too much, but a mana steel block. So we've got some mana steel now. So that's something else that we're going to be using to craft a lot of different things, as you can see here. Um, also with bauble items and augments back. Wow, there's a lot of things. Mana flux field, mana pylon. Wow. Um, I know we've got to make this mana seal monocle. This is something we've got to make. Um, that allows us to see the area of effect of plants. So, um, functioning flora. What's this about? A redstone root. We'll have a read of that in a moment. Um, but first of all, this is filling up a reasonable amount. Did I step on the wood again? I oh, know it's just going through the woods so quickly. Um, someone eat that. It should go through that quite. We'll see how long that was one of those lasts because it should last quite a bit. They've got quite a long burn time on them. Um, so we need to make the monocle. So we need to put glass into there. So let me grab some glass. And let's do this. So we've got the mana steel glass. Wow, this is really see-through. Um, so we need the monocle. So we need to do this with this. And then we need... Oh, is it gold ingots? Wow, look how cool it looks on there. Um, so I think it's gold... It could be nuggets, actually. One, two, three. Right, so, so this is the Manasea monocle. Now, if I put this into my bauble slot... Um, not sure. There we go. The inner arts. Craft any variety of baubles and wear it. So now... If you have a look, if we look at them, we can actually see the area of effect of these plants. Like, same with this. It tells us it's the 3x3 three three radius with the magical daisy things. So that is cool. So we've got a really wide area of effect on these. That's very, very nice. So next, now we've got this going. Um, Let's see what it says about this redstone root. So it says... Uh, there are various places in which mana are in which the mana a botanist generates uh, can be put to use. One of them is assortment of functioning flowers. These flowers will drain mana from nearby mana pools themselves or into themselves. Um, okay. It's not they can't receive directly through mana spreaders. All functioning flowers alike. The generating flowers contain a small buffer of mana. Standard rules for mana reading applies. Okay. Um, lastly, some functionality flowers utilize a redstone root in their creation. This is the flower effect with toggles with a redstone signal. So some grass and some redstone. Okay, so we need some grass and some redstone to make a redstone root. Um, let's do that. I've got any shears. I think I have to shear grass. Let's see. Um, I need some tall grass, don't I? Here it is. As if I'm shearing grass. Right, let's take this. Voila, grass. Now I should. I learned grass. That's interesting. What is firing at me now? I don't know why you're firing at me because you're not going to do any damage to me. But hey, you do you. So let's see. So it wants to put grass with some redstone. Um, so let's do that. Um, red, nope. Redstone and some grass. It's going to make us a redstone root. Which again has an EMC value. So I'm going to do that. Um, 
yeah, so let's see what else. Does it say anything else about the redstone? It doesn't. Um, is this going to introduce us back into mechanics? The runic altar. This looks like I'm going to have to do some reading. 